Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, August 26th, 2022. Well, we have had quite a month so far with a lot of back and forth here, a lot of uncertainty, and boy, today that uncertainty kind of hits a crescendo um, with Jerome Powell speaking from Jackson Hole. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Let's look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. But today is a little bit um, of an interesting day with um, a bunch of data coming our way first thing this morning that could change everything um, very quickly. So first off, let's take a look at these charts. Certainly we know we've broken this um, overall downtrend in the chart. We have pulled back and the good news is the bulls found reason to find price support here and bounce off of that price support yesterday. You know, this entire week we've had bearish economic reports indicating that our economy is slowing and the bears have just put their hands over their eyes and said we don't care get out of my way so i can buy something and that happened again yesterday with a big rally up uh, particularly in the dow and you can see we rallied right up into that price resistance point here in that dow so although that was a nice hold of support I'm not sure it fixed anything just yet. And then we still have these uncertainties coming this morning that could create quite a little bit of volatility. So what does that mean for later on today? Your guess is as good as mine. Um, the way the market has been acting, I think anything is possible. So what I've been suggesting to folks is to just be very, very careful. Make sure that you are protecting your capital. Don't don't over trade uh, first thing this morning um, as these data points come out because the Jerome Powell speech could change everything. Let's take a look at our SPY. Very much the same sit situation here in the SPY as you can see. We rallied up trying to pop a little bit of that price resistance right in here and one thing you might want to notice is we drifted into that gap here from this island reversal. So keep a close eye on that. We got a little bit of bearishness coming in this morning. We held that price support. But again, I think anything is possible with that Powell speech today. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. And just remember that um, this uptrend has officially broken. And so we'll want to watch this carefully if we run into some resistance in here. Um, if Powell comes off as being um, more hawkish than the market would like to hear, um, you could see that possibility that we could push right back down into this range. Now, I'm not saying we break down, but notice how long we've stayed stuck right in here. It wouldn't be uncommon. We've seen this pattern before many times in the market where we get kind of stuck in a little bit of an area here um, trying to decide which way we're going to go from that point. So watch that closely. And then if we take a look at our QQQ, well, we got to say pretty much the same thing. We held in there on support. The buyers came in. We drifted back up into that gap. We're running into significant levels of price resistance in the chart um, and the uncertainty of what the FOMC is going to do. We've broken that trend. So still we run that possibility of that lower high um, here in the chart and um, we still have the challenge of this downtrend we've creeped back above that downtrend break but as you can see we've got a little bearishness coming in this morning with that uncertainty about what comes next and IWM very much the same thing however stronger IWM has been remarkably strong here 
recently actually outperforming some of the other indexes and you can see we crossed back up and actually filled that gap down gap um, from the other day so watch that closely we're pulling back pretty sharply this morning in the pre-market but we have a range in here that we're going to have to deal with and it really all depends on how we react to the data this morning um, uh, will we be bullish in the friday close or will we be bearish and I think we could be both, um, to be honest, um, with a volatility that um, Jerome Powell's speech could uh, provide. Let's take a look at our VIX. Interesting, you know, as we continue to go through the entire week with um, bad PMI numbers, bad housing numbers, bad durable goods numbers, um, bad GDP number. Um, and yet we just ignored it and we continued to see buyers coming in. And as you can see, what we've got going on here, as I've mentioned before, there's no worry here in um, this chart unless we break above that area right there and we have held that area so you've got to give that up to the bulls they're pulling this back and we've got some price support down in here in this area that we'll want to watch and of course that that trend that we have in here if we find some support in there and bounce that wouldn't be all that much of a surprise but Perhaps Powell's speech inspires those bulls and we actually sink right on through that level. So watch that closely. The bulls seem to have very little fear here in the market. Um, considering the economic condition, it seems odd to me, but there you have it. They just don't seem to care. And if you take a look at our T2122, T2122, we had a substantial rally back in T2122, which, well, puts us right in ahead of these data points that we're going to get today, right back up here toward that bearish zone in the market where we're overextending again in the short term. Now, certainly we have more upside room. So if we can find that inspiration today, there's no reason to believe we can't push on higher here. But just kind of know we're stretching back up here again in um, that just don't care um, kind of attitude keep pushing pushing and pushing and buying and buying and buying and watch right in here if we find bearish inspiration and that's where the pain will come if it were to occur um, if those bears um, really find inspiration today in those numbers so watch that closely our t2107 also improved yesterday and you got to give this up to the bulls they're doing one heck of a job here breaking that downtrend and so far they've held on to that price support so this is encouraging um, with those um, stocks number of stocks holding above their 200 day moving average holding in there and holding some of those support levels not breaking back down today could be that decision point though whether we continue that move or if we actually pull on back so we'll have to watch that close and t2108 um, same thing you got to give credit to the bulls here breaking that downtrend showing that bull lots of bullishness holding support in here on that chart and today we'll decide um, probably from these data points are we going to continue to move up or push down so watch that closely as we head into this weekend now i'm going to skip past t2101 and i am going to go directly to um, um, our index charts here just to take a look our volume here on the diamonds continues to hold up relatively well it's still a bit on the weak side but if you take a look at the spy take a look at the cues we're really um, acting on um, lower than normal volumes than we would normally want to see so Let's keep a close eye on that. Um, a rally back into data points like this could kind of signal a bit of a, well, it runs the possibility of a head fake by the institutions, encouraging people to get in right ahead of these data points. And then we have um, that whoopsie that um, pulls that all back. So just be careful here um, not to chase in first thing in the morning. Let's see how the market's going to react with these details. 
let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar, well, um, it's what I've been talking about. Sorry, I picked up an extra window there. Um, it's what I've been talking about here this morning. First off, this morning, we're going to get international trade in goods. That has been improving because of our strong dollar. We have got um, um, personal incomes and outlays here that um, this is the Fed's favorite number. We're going to get that core PCE number here this morning uh, before the bell. So we'll want to watch that. That's their inflation measure. And that certainly could inspire some buying or selling um, on that number here this morning. And then keep in mind, we're going to get retail inventories and wholesale inventories those have been creeping up and um, that is a problem we're showing we're seeing a lot of retail warning that there's a problem consumers are constrained and um, if those continue to rise that could be an issue for us as well today and then we've got consumer sentiment and at the same time we're going to hear from jerome powell now he's largely expected to come in with a hawkish statement um, here on the market. We'll see how the market reacts to that. And you just don't know. The way the market has been reacting lately to some of these data points, we're just shrugging, shrugging it off and saying, you know, don't care. Just doesn't bother them. So um, still could be the case here this morning. So watch that carefully on that number. Now, one of the things that has been indicating a substantial problem for us out there and showing us that there is a high probability of um, additional rate increases even though the market has been trying to ignore it um, take a look what's going on with our bonds they continue to rise here this morning in the pre-market um, our 12-month bond is at 3.28 or two years at 3.37 so you can see we have inversions of the two, five, ten, um, in the market, we're very, very close to an, uh, um, and the twelve month being inverted, even over the thirty year bond. So that does not bode well. That points to recession, and it says that the bond market, which is vastly larger than the stock market, is suggesting rates are going to go up. So we need to keep an eye on that um, and watch that carefully and just consider that as you plan your day here and what Jerome Powell might say. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar here for today. Our earnings calendar is very, very light today. We, we only have five confirmed earnings reports um, on the day um, and well, not particularly notable um, stocks that will really move the market. Probably the most notable is going to be JKS um, Solar here. Um, keep an eye on that one here this morning. Um, it will be reporting from before the bell, and it may have already reported. I'm not sure. Um, if you take a look, there's um, SNP that will be reporting today. Um, not exactly a massive notable rather low volume stock and then um, there's this zgn and i don't think anybody's really going to care much about this this thing trades almost no volume so really not much going on here um, except that jks um, this morning to maybe provide some inspiration uh, to the market so watch that close let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful helpful if you could please do me that favor click those thumbs up buttons leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and i just want to say thank you so much everyone it, it is truly humbling and your kind words on a daily basis i truly truly appreciate it 
Um, thank you so much. Um, let's take a look at um, some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful about these trades. And particularly this morning, there could be tremendous volatility here in the market. So um, just watch carefully and plan your trading carefully. Now, all over the marketplace, we are seeing energy prices surge, um, XLE moving up. Now, I think this is going to, you know, it's interesting that it's happening right now because none of these energy numbers will be in the current um, inflationary numbers. But if these continue to rise, imagine what could happen next um, inflationary reading if these um, energy numbers continue to move up. We have seen that OPEC is talking about cutting production and we have um, negative numbers in our um, oil status and we are seeing those pressures in energy prices. As a matter of fact, the UK putting out information today that their energy prices um, to, the, to the retail consumer are going up 80% in October. So as we head into the winter, fall and winter seasons, um, we're going to want to watch these closely if they continue to spike. Now, having said that, looking at stocks, um, take a look at stocks like CVX breaking out. We've got uh, Devon looking unbelievably strong here in the market, pushing up, pushing right back into maybe some resistance levels in the chart. Occidental breaking out to new highs here. So lots of potential trades that could be setting up here in these energy sector stocks. Um, if on a breakout like this, any rest consolidation or pullback in here would set up that opportunity and maybe follow our trend here to the upside. So watch some of those stocks. There's a lot of them producing. On the alternative energy side plug power got a big pop yesterday now they have recently done a major deal with walmart and they just completed a major deal with amazon to provide hydrogen and hydrogen equipment to their warehouses and as you can see had a big pop yesterday a little pop and drop going on some resistance in that chart to deal with but some of these alternative energies are looking pretty good now i wouldn't want to chase this right here at the moment look for that next opportunity into that trade and as a matter of fact i think it might have to rest here for a little while before it pops but watch um, some of these stocks there's some good things beginning to happen in these alternatives Take a look at first solar first solar i mentioned this one the other day breaking through resistance and you can see popping higher here this morning pushing right on through now i will say this is very very parabolic in its move and could rest or pull back at any time and could do it sharply but um, if you're in that trade congratulations we talked about that yesterday um seeing a lot of these alternative energies uh, pushing and perking up and considering alternative energies take a look at stocks like um, URA and uranium um, uranium ETF here got a big push because there is a new revived interest in um, um, nuclear power because we're running so short on power in so many places in the world so watch this carefully URA pushing up strongly. A rest or pullback could set up right in there. UUUU is another one of those uranium plays that you might want to put on a list. Um, let that rest consolidate in there. There may be an opportunity. CCJ, as you guys know, I currently hold um, CCJ. Um, getting some more activity here this morning. A little bit of a pop and drop. So watch carefully. I wouldn't want to chase these. Again, let them rest. Let them consolidate and then look for your opportunity into those trades. Take a look in tech. Um, AMD had a good day yesterday. A lot of um, tech had a good day yesterday. Now, the problem we have is we're still in a downtrend here in the chart and we're running into price resistance right in here. But if that can push on through and hold, look for some of those. If we're going to continue to 
just sugarcoat or kind of ignore these economic data points in, in the market, then start watching for those bullish patterns to come up here in these charts. There are quite a few of those in the tech sector. So guys, I'm running short here on time. I'm going to cut it off here. I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day. And I want to caution you one more time to just be a little bit careful here in the morning until we see what happens after that Powell speech. Then there may be some opportunities, but just plan your risk carefully. And I want to wish you all a wonderful weekend with your families. Have a great weekend, and I will see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone.